Welcome back to Buhay Francis guys, Francis once again here and it is the day before New Year's Eve. I don't know if you guys have noticed but like the old Francis is kind of gone and a new Francis is in and the new Francis is kind of really embracing his heritage. So this vlog is going to be about me preparing for my Filipino New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve 2018 that is. So I went online and I looked for a list of uh, things to do to prepare for Filipino New Year from tagaloglang.com which means uh, it's just Tagalog I, I think that's the translation I wrote down everything in that checklist so first on the list is make noise make as much noise as you can to scare away evil spirits so we got that covered but Filipinos from the Philippines do it a little differently than we do here. They don't just spin stuff and make noise like that. They go hardcore. Check. Next on the list is turn on all light. Why? To ensure that the coming new year is bright. Check. So next on the list we have open all doors, windows, and cabinets to let good fortune in. Okay guys, I live in Alberta, so to open all my doors and windows is a little... It's negative 40 outside. It's blistering cold. It's really, really cold. Check. So number four and five go hand in hand. Pay off all debt, check, and fill your wallet with fresh pesos. Mexico or Philippine pesos, I'm not sure. Filipinos believe that whatever your financial state is in, at the stroke of midnight, that's what it will be in the new year. Check. Just kidding, it was all an illusion. It's just Canadian tire money. So next on the list is clean everything. And I mean everything. Next one is wear polka dots. Why? Because anything round signifies prosperity. Scatter coins. You scatter coins around the house, on tabletops, and inside drawers. Jump. 12 times at midnight to increase your height. I've already accepted the fact that I'm short, but in honor of tradition, why are Filipinos always so short? Prepare 12 round fruits, one for each month of the coming new year. Grape in mouth. Have a grape in your mouth at the stroke of midnight. Sticky rice. Eat a native delicacy made from sticky rice to make good fortune stick in the new year. Eat long noodles like pancit or perhaps even spaghetti for long life. We had pancit for Christmas so for New Year's I think we're gonna have Spaghetti. Do not make chicken or fish. They are associated with the scarcity of food. So these two are associated with the new year already. So this will be like the first of January. This is already passed. There will be absolutely no cleaning. Don't clean anything. You might sweep away the good fortune that came in on New Year's Eve. Check. Don't spend money. So needless to say, I think I'm pretty prepared for the new year, for the Filipino new year. 
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If you like that video and any of my other videos, please subscribe. You can subscribe by clicking this button here. And check out my latest vlog by clicking here. Thank you very much, you guys.